mind sink. 11 ways how to love yourself more and be confident. This may seem more important to some than others, but self-love is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Being in love with yourself provides you with self-confidence, self-worth and it will generally help you feel more positive. You may also find that it is easier for you to fall in love once you have learned to love yourself first. Some of these steps may help to work for you, you will feel so much happier and can truly say that you love yourself. Here are just 11 self-love tips you can try today to discover how to love yourself and own your confidence. 1. Know yourself first. It's impossible to love yourself if you don't even know who you are. Invest in discovering what you believe, value, and like. Knowing yourself is about consistently carrying out actions that feel aligned with your heart, gut, intuition. The less you love yourself, listen to yourself, and understand yourself, the more confused, angry, and frustrating your reality will be. But when you begin and continue to love yourself more, the more everything you see, everything you do, and everyone you interact with, starts to become a little bit better in every way possible. 2. Have fun by yourself. It's always good to have a few days set by for yourself, that is just for you to do something fun. In doing this you can learn to enjoy your own company, and most likely feel more confident doing it on your own. This could be, going to the cinema, going on a date with yourself or finding new things to try. Don't worry about anything, nothing stops your happiness. Come on! Enjoy and rock the world! Now think of how you treat yourself. Do you give yourself the love and respect that you might give your closest friends or significant other? Do you take care of your body, your mind, and your needs? 3. Take care of yourself and care about nutrition. This one probably seems obvious, but taking care of yourself plays a big part in learning how to love yourself, and a lot of people do not do it. If you take care of yourself, you will be the best version of yourself. Good health is truly priceless. Give yourself the gift of feeling physically well. Exercise regularly, eat healthfully, drink water, get 7-8 hours of sleep most nights. Giving yourself time and space to understand your spirituality, thanking yourself and those around you. Loving yourself is more than just a state of mind, it's also a series of actions and habits that you embed into your everyday life. You have to show yourself that you love you, from the beginning of your day to the end. 4. Pursue new interests. It's great to try something new that you have wanted to try for a while, or have been too scared to do. You never know what you might enjoy until you try it, so think of a new hobby you could try, or go to a place you've wanted to go to for a while. Learn new things which gives you happiness like dance, musical instruments. Hobbies can be fun, relaxing, challenging, creative, athletic, social, or educational. As you can see, different hobbies meet different needs for us. Find something that meets your needs. 5. Forgive yourself for your mistakes. Reflecting on your mistakes can help you to forgive and forget. If you can look back at some poor choices you may have made, and forgive yourself, you can start to move on and forget about the past. Loving yourself despite any mistakes you made in the past is great for your self-worth. 6. Give yourself a break. Try and put aside 30 minutes of your time, to completely relax. Having a break from the chaos of life is a great way to love and care for yourself. We can be hard on ourselves sometimes, it's natural, but you need to give yourself a break from time to time. No one is perfect, and you can't expect yourself to be so. Let's slow down and allow your body and mind to rest. You don't have to do it all. Prioritize what matters most and let go of any guilt in saying no. 
rest is rejuvenating and a basic form of self-care. The more you honor yourself and how you spend your time, the more your inner child will feel seen, understood, and loved. 7. Learn how to love yourself by saying no to others. Sometimes we do too much for people, we like to please other people, so we tend to stretch ourselves too thin and commit to everything we can. We can forget to look after ourselves sometimes, so that's why it is good to say no. Focus on yourself when you can, or if you are overwhelmed. Boundaries are an essential form of self-care because they let others know that you deserve and expect respect. Don't waste your time trying to please people who are impossible to please or people who just aren't that important to you. Being yourself means you have to give up your people-pleasing ways and embrace your authentic self. 8. Start a journal or practice gratitude. If you can write down your thoughts and feelings, you can go back at a later date and see how you coped with certain situations. This is also a positive way for you to get rid of any negative experiences and feelings, helping you to focus on the good things and learn from the bad. Practice gratitude is one of the simplest ways to focus on the good in yourself and in your life. Try identifying three things you are grateful for when you wake up every morning. 9. Feel your feelings. Our feelings are an integral part of who we are. You can't be an authentic person without acknowledging and feeling all of your feelings. Don't shy away from uncomfortable feelings like anger and sadness. If you deny them, you deny a part of yourself. Allow yourself to express them in a healthy, respectful way. Fears and worries are necessary for us to protect ourselves. But this survival mechanism can work against us, which is why you're experiencing self-doubt and self-criticism right now. 10. Surround yourself with people who treat you with kindness and respect. Who you spend time with reflects how you feel about yourself. People who feel worthy surround themselves with positive people. When you spend time with positive people in your life, your thinking and behavior will change into positive manner. 11. How to love yourself by challenging yourself. If you can challenge yourself, you will also be getting to know yourself and what you are capable of. Perhaps you are a singer, who sings as a hobby but has wanted to sing at a gig for years if you can take that leap and book a gig you will challenge yourself and feel much more confident. Just go for it, and see what happens. 12. If you can learn to love yourself, you will be much happier and will learn how to best take care of yourself. When you are truly in love with yourself and happy, you should stop comparing yourself to others so much and should find yourself more confident, not worrying as much about what others think. People will come and go. Events will come and go. Day and night will come and go. But a true love for yourself will always remain with you, if you nurture it. You are a worthy, talented, capable, lovable person who deserves to be loved. And the most important person to believe that is you. You are the most beautiful person in these world, start loving yourself more. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.